Field fire investigators are working with the state fire marshal to try to figure out what started a fire that killed a woman this morning. It is the first deadly fire in that community in more than a decade. Rich Van Wyck has more now from Greenfield. When firefighters arrived here just a little after 9 this morning, they say the smoke from this fire was so thick they couldn't see the house from the street. Oh, my God. I busted out a window, and I pounded on a window, and it broke. Two men driving by saw the smoke first. Before firefighters arrived, they made a futile attempt to rescue people they feared were trapped inside the house. But after about the second time we went around beating on the windows, the back just kind of, a lot of flames shot out, and we just kind of backed away at that point. Bill Sego started taking pictures and warning neighbors. There could be gas lines, or smoke coming out of every doorway. Gusting winds fanned the flames while firefighters tried to get the blaze under control. And another crew went to the front door to, to begin a uh, search. They found the victim, 64-year-old Linda Murray, on the kitchen floor. Was there any chance of saving this individual? Uh, probably not. No, it had a head start on us. It was uh, the fire situation and the uh, smoke situation was way, way ahead of us. Investigators worked much of the day looking for what started the fire. They don't suspect foul play. The woman was ill and relying on oxygen. According to Chief Sutherland, she was known to smoke and may have tried to put the fire out herself. This is the first fatal fire in Buck Creek Township in about 15 years. The chief tells me what occurred here today is going to be something these firefighters carry on their shoulders for quite some time. Rich Van White, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.